So the reports are now indicating that railroad workers were wrong, that they should have taken a deal more than two years ago. However, they didn't, and now the reports are indicating that it could possibly be too late. So I wanna address what's going on here because we are actually getting some big reports that have come out just over the past 24 hours. So first, let's address one of these reports, and that is that investors have proposed shareholder resolutions at two US railroads calling for paid sick leave for workers. That's big, investors are calling for this. Why? Well, they're saying it's business. It's better for business because it would help retain their employees. Now, this is after the US Congress and President Biden blocked a railroad strike that could have happened as soon as December 9th, which is in just four days of making this video. That would have been a catastrophic problem for the US economy. But this is also coming out after railroad workers threatened to quit or do something called a silent strike as soon as December 9th, again, in just four days. So why all the attention and uh, acceptance of uh, a possibility of paid sick leave? Why now? Well, here's the big thing. Investors are worried that if the cargo is not moving because there's not a strike, but people are not working, they're going into work, clocking in, trying to get paid for their hours, but they don't do their job, well, it's gonna hurt the railroad industry. That's why they are now cracking down and saying, you know what, maybe we should be paying some paid sick leave. And if you're not sure exactly what's going on here, let me just break it down. Over the past roughly three years, railroad workers and the railroads have been negotiating or the railroad unions have been negotiating with the railroads. Well, they've been unsuccessful. They haven't been able to get very far and they came down to a 24% raise over the next five years. They came down to a, a uh, roughly $5,000 bonus, which would be about $1,000 per year. And they came up with one additional paid uh, sick leave day. That was it. That was all they came up with. And again, they've been negotiating for about three years. But according to reports and according to union uh, insiders and for one union rep that does not want to be uh, named, he is saying, and actually they're all saying, that if workers would have accepted the deal that was potentially on the table years ago, we would have been done, they would have already received their raise, and we wouldn't have this problem as of right now. But what we are hearing as of this morning is that, um, that investors, okay? We are now hearing that an investor, uh, an, active, an activist investor is asking uh, Norfolk Southern Corps and Union Pacific Corps to take up a vote in the spring meeting in order to offer a reasonable amount of paid sick leave. That's big that an investor is coming out and asking for this. And I say this because, again, they say this is business. If we do not have employees, we do not have a business. And even Kate Monahan, uh, she is actually from the Trillium Asset Management Group, uh, which is an investor that filed the resolution at Union Pacific. Well, she said that more flexible sick time would have broader benefits like reducing workforce turnover. And I can tell you this right now from the, the people that I've talked to, you know, here in the side of the community that have stated that if they don't get additional paid time off, they're simply going to leave the industry and they will not come back. So she is exactly right. There's gonna be a lot of turnover. And when you have turnover, what do you normally have that follows? Well, in most cases, now you have to retrain, rehire, and then retrain new employees, which again, it takes time and money. And she also went on to say, and I quote, there is a clear business case that makes sense to us as investors. And that's exactly true. But according to the railroads, here's what they're saying. They're now telling us that adding sick pay would only require them to hire more employees, which is the problem. They cannot hire enough employees. Then the, the next big issue, and again, this is why some are saying this is too late, is because it's not possible to hire people that aren't out there actively looking for a job. Again, that's a huge, huge problem. And they also say that they are worried that very soon, they're not gonna be hiring employees, they will be cutting their workforce dramatically. So we're, those are two big swings. We give you additional paid sick days, but the problem is we gotta hire more people. 
problem is they're not out there, which means if we do that, and again, here's the other issue, we may be cutting people, laying people off. So again, two separate sides of this entire, uh, entire idea. So again, it's a major problem. But again, this is where we are seeing more people coming out saying that we were wrong, that workers are wrong, the unions were wrong, the railroads, they stuck by their guns and guess what? You know, they, they got what they, they uh, wanted. They, they don't wanna pay anybody, right? We're seeing right now business groups are coming out in support of paid sick leave, but are they coming out at the right time? According to many, they say no. The problem right now for the railroads is timing. That's the major problem. Not the benefits that were being asked. Well, essentially, yes, because they say railroad workers are asking for too much. In the beginning, they say if, the two, if our two sides could have agreed on something in the beginning, at the start of the negotiations, or right when the pandemic kind of started, they say that when freight was at its peak, we could have given workers additional paid time off, but paid sick leave, but it would have required more hires. And in this time when there were some people looking for jobs, they could have possibly hired more people. But here's the thing, according to, uh, according to one union official, again, who doesn't want to be named, he is saying that if workers would have gotten, or we would have asked for, because again, he's putting himself in there, if we would have asked for maybe three to five days of paid sick leave in the beginning, he feels that the railroads would have accepted it, but it's the timing right now. And just think about that for a second. If railroad workers would have came out and unions would have fought for three to five days of paid sick leave in the beginning of the pandemic or when freight was at its peak, they are saying that then they probably could have got something done. But you know what railroad workers are asking for? And again, I don't blame them. I think railroad workers deserve more paid sick leave and less restrictions as to when they can take their days off. But what they're asking for was 14 days initially two weeks of additional paid sick leave. The railroad said no. Eventually they got down to seven, but by the time they got down to seven, the railroads were probably closer to two to three days. And then by the time they were simply asking for three to four days, which did come, well, this actually came about a month ago, the railroads were down to zero days. You know why? Because they're worried that very soon they're gonna have to begin cuts and they can't go and accept uh, in an agreement where they give workers more time off, but at the same time, they're gonna let go of employees, which means they're gonna have to find more employees at the same time. You don't let go of employees and then hire employees, right? Well, unless you're Elon Musk and Twitter, but in most cases, you just don't do that. That's not good business. So that's where we're at at this point. A lot of back and forth took too long, and right now, a deal just never got done, or didn't get done at the right time. And again, this is why union officials are saying that they were wrong and now it's too late to get this deal done. So we're gonna see what happens moving forward. We'll see if these investors have any pull with the railroads, but my guess is it's not really gonna happen. We're not gonna see additional paid days off. And uh, well, we'll see what the workers decide to do in just four days. So again, as always, make sure you stick around so that you never miss an update. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button, stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.